All right, please come in, hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're all, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the support. Um, remember to hit the like button. Think about subscribing. And I think I got everything. Um, so this is the 2024 Netflix action fantasy film called Damsel starring Millie Bobby Brown. Now, here's the plot. A young woman agrees to marry a handsome prince, only to discover it was all a trap. She is thrown into a cave with a fire-breathing dragon and must rely solely on her wits and will to survive. Now, here is the cast. Well, they definitely set up the mood of the film pretty quickly with the very eerie score. Gave me horror film vibes, to be honest. Which honestly took me by surprise. It's not what I was expecting, to be honest. And I didn't know exactly what I was expecting, other than it was probably going to be some sort of typical type of, they're trying to overpower female type of, of, of today's trope and, you know, this type of... Uh, Denzel in distress, you know, it's just, and it would be like a standard story. But how dark and evil they went with the dragon honestly intensified that feeling. Compared to most Hollywood dragons, this trade-up felt like a pure demon, which has to be the most realistic version of a dragon I've ever seen so far, or that I can remember. Now, if you were in the medieval times, I can't speak, uh, you would definitely come across for the first time obviously they're not real but i mean if so to speak if they were back then you would automatically come to the belief that it's it's a demon um i, I was actually bothered by it personally uh and I, that's necessarily a good thing you know to be honest i will not show the dragon but i love the design of the look they went for it and that look on top of it also adds to it now also the great voice actress that uh that i will not pronounce um gave it that edge as well of her her type of iconic voice she's from the expanse in the netflix our kind series she has a very uh, recognizable raspy voice and I, she's in her 70s like early 70s and she's iranian and something so i don't know if that really has to do anything but it any of those things but she does have this kind of raspy voice, and they also did a little bit of something in the editing, but not by much, that's the thing. Now, Millie Bobby Brown did fantastic in her role. Honestly, I haven't seen her much uh, of her work outside of Stranger Things and that Sherlock Holmes-like Netflix film. But in my opinion, this is her best work. The writing surprised me with being something far from what I was expecting going into this. And again, that's an understatement. In my opinion, this is definitely a new take and a way to go about the old Danzel in distress fairy tale trope that also kept me in suspense a lot of time, if not most. But here's my right now come back to five thoughts. Of course, the critics did not like this, but I loved it by a lot. Just a side note, Robbie Wright is in this, A.K. Jenny from Forrest Gump. I had no clue she was uh, even still, I mean, to be honest, not even just still, you know, acting, but she was still alive, to be honest. I haven't seen her anything since Forrest Gump, at least that I'm aware of. I didn't even recognize her right away. Um, but yeah, everyone did a fantastic job. The writing, though, is what, the writing is... One of the things that stood out strongly in this, next to how they did with the dragon. And to me, not only is this a new story, a new, a very, very good new take, but a new take on the whole, like I said, trope of, of Danzel's in this dress. And it wasn't overpowering with the female lead of how they did it, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen where they have done it, and in, in, in general, I just love it for what it is. But this... Yeah, they definitely didn't do that. But also, it's I love the new take on, or the, yeah, I can call it somewhat of a new take on the dragon, you know, type of thing. Usually they have some sort of presence that they're kind of intimidating, but this had where it was intimidating, but it was really, really creepy. 
and how they revealed it. So that's why I didn't want to, uh, you know, show you what it looked like, but because uh, how they reveal it. Um, but yeah, so leave your comments down below. Um, I'm always looking forward to those. Always reading. Re really want to read what you guys have to think. Uh, be respectful, obviously. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.